Hi friends, this is Shivani here. Welcome to my channel Shivani Creations. Today I am showing you how to create this beautiful candle holder or tea light holder with the flower decoration. All the flowers are handmade and I have created in a step kind of so you can just separate each stand and if you want to put all together you can just stand it like this isn't it looking very beautiful and pretty so without any delay let's get started for this we need white color sheet pattern paper some ball tools groove golf tool any battery operated tea light or you can also use candle tea light pink color flower pearls punch border pink thread pollens scissors liquid glue ruler embossing pad and watercolors first i'm taking this white cardstock which measures 7 by 7 inches and this is quite thick uh, approximately 240 gsm and from left side i'm creasing on two and half inches and four and half inches now just rotate your sheet in 90 degrees and again crease on two and half inches and four and half inches now fold all the creases And I will just cut from all four sides like this to construct the box. Here I am creating the base for our candle holder or tea light holder. Now I am just trimming each these flaps little bit. And then fold like this and add little glue and construct your box. So the box is ready. Now I'm taking one more cardstock which measures five and half by two inches, and from left side I'm creasing on half inches, then two and half inches, then three inches, and then five inches. Fold all the creases. Here I'm creating the box to hold our tea light, which will come in the top. So it will look like this. Now I will cut one circle here so that we can easily tuck our tea light inside this. So I am taking this one and a half inches diameter circle and just tracing it on my paper. And now I will cut it using paper cutter. Or if you have this one and a half inches paper circle, you can just directly cut it using this paper circle punch. Now I'm taking this golden paper which is approximately little bit lesser than 2 by 2 inches and I'm cutting one more circle in the center using the same punch like this. Now I will connect this on top of our base. Now I am just securing my box by adding little glue. So it is ready and this will be work like a holder of our tea light or candle. Now take back your box and I will just connect this tea light holder on top of this.
so the base is ready now we will decorate with pattern papers so here I am taking some pattern paper strips and I am covering my tea light holder from all the sides like this now here I'm taking this beautiful punched border this is a daisy punch border and I'm decorating the top portion using this border all the supply links are given in description box you can check there like this here I have created two more boxes with the different sizes so this is the one which we have created and I have also created one large and one small so the larger one is having three and half inch height and the smaller one is having one and half inch height so this is a three and half inch this is two and half inch and this is one and half inch so just the difference is in height and rest of all process is same so this will look like a steps when you will add your tea light now I'm taking the 7 and 5 8 by 3 and 2 8 inches white cardstock and from left side I'm creasing on half inches rotate your sheet and crease on half inches similarly from remaining two sides I'm creasing on half half inches so here I am making the base for all our three tea lights so it will work like a tray so again I am constructing the box kind of tray just add glue and hold it for some time so this is done I have added some pattern paper strips on the tray as well now you can just fix your tea light inside the tray like this now we'll decorate it so here I'm showing you how to create this beautiful hand cut flower so for this I'm taking this 4x4 four four centimeter paper this paper is having 120 gsm thickness and now I'm just dividing this paper square in 8 equal parts like this now I will shape each part as a petal
and your flower cut out is ready in the same way we need one more now I'm taking my watercolor cakes and I'm coloring the half portion of flower using lemon yellow shade and half portion using crimson red so I'm doing it very lightly to give pink touch and the other flower I will color only the half portion using yellow and remaining half portion will be white now I'm just sprinkling some water to create these flower little moist now I will show you how to cut this four petal flower for this I'm taking two by two centimeter square and I'm dividing it in four equal parts and just shaping each part as a petal I'm coloring this flower from the center using crimson red again sprinkling some water and allow it to set for some time now I'm taking my embossing pad and from back side of each flower I will shape it using small size groove golf tool Now just rotate each flower and pinch in the center using ball tool. In the same way we need three pink yellow combination flowers and three white yellow combination flowers. So now I will add each layer to construct the flower. Now for the center of the flower I am using this bunch of pink color thread pollens. And for this tiny flower I am using pink color micro bead pearls. Also I have created these leaves. I have just cut this in the leaf pattern and colored it using light and dark green watercolor. Now take back your base and I will first add this beautiful border in the bottom. This is again a punched border. And then I will start arranging all the flowers and leaves. So after adding all the patterns it will look like this it's looking super gorgeous trust me 
and now you can just put your tea lights or candles inside this if you want or if you wish you can just separate each box to decorate different areas in your house or you can just combine it as it is so i am just lighting my dias and it will look like this it will look very gorgeous in the dark so my project is done for today i'm sure you will try this very soon please subscribe my channel for more interesting videos thanks for watching see you next time bye bye